Hello, so do you want that new and shiny war bond pass or perhaps that new liberation gear in the superstore that you've been eyeing for so long? Well, fret not. I got solution for you. I'll explain how I farm super credits and why I farm them this way. So here's a few steps. I will explain later why I do them if you really want to know the ins and outs. So first off the stratagems. For maximum comfort bring a grenade launcher and ideally an armor piece that will give you 6 grenades. One more thing to bring with you is a friend but that thing is entirely optional. Second step, the difficulty. Just pick uh, any difficulty from 1 to 5. Difficulty 1 is the most efficient. Third, drop in and start visiting the points of interest. You will be able to find super credits and medals in these loot caches. The most common one is the storage container. You can open it up with two explosive barrels, one grenade or one shot from an explosive weapon. In this case, that weapon being the grenade launcher. The second one is the pod. I mean, you just salute to it and it opens. The third one is the bunker. This is why I said to bring one optional friend, because you need two people to open this. Step 4. This is the easiest one. Complete the mission and extract. Step 5. Repeat other steps until you afford what you want to afford. That's all the steps. Pretty simple so far, so what's the deal? Why no higher difficulties and why do you need friends? Well, the deal is that you will get uh, from 20 to 50 super credits per run. 20 being uh, if you are extremely unlucky. Why no higher difficulties? Don't higher difficulties spawn more points of interest, you might ask? Yes, yes they do. But most of the points of interest will be there to feed you with samples. Now, let's compare it with the lowest difficulty. You get maybe less points of interest, sure, but there is not that many samples on the map to collect. This will eliminate some undesirable points of interest that would otherwise be generated, such as nests and optional objectives. It will also give you a smaller map, therefore making it easier and faster to explore it fully. At higher difficulties, these points of interest will usually have enemies guarding them. This is efficient farming, so that's why I recommend you don't go higher. But if you want to be inefficient, well, find yourself a group of people that wants to farm the maps out and, well, start farming them. One key word to note, if you do pick this route, this is uh, where that armor with six grenades comes in. Uh, I usually found these runs to be up to 60 super credits when exploring the whole map and, well, this is RNG. The lowest I got was 20. So, thank you for watching my humble contribution to democracy.